Jesus says, I am still a man, and I long for your affection, my brides. August 3rd, 2019. Words from Jesus to Sister Claire, spoken by Jackie. Claire began, Thank you, Lord Jesus, for shedding light on my path and for reminding me of the things that are most important to you in my life. Well, dear ones, I got a reading about money and the world, and it troubled me really. You cannot serve the world and money. You cannot have two masters. And it was clear, and I thought, Lord, I haven't wanted anything frivolous for myself in the longest time. Why are you saying this to me? Because I haven't bought flowers, I haven't bought clothing, I did buy a book. But I, really, I don't spend money on anything. When my clothes are falling apart, I sew them up. And I use them for another year. Why not? Anyway, I began, Lord, truly, I don't understand why you are stressing money so much. That was really a hard reading. You know that I'm not concerned for myself on what I want, but on taking care of the needs of others. Why have you said these harsh words to me? It has been so long since I wanted something frivolous. It hurts to hear these words. Please help me understand. Jesus replied, You were not the only person in the room, beloved. Well, I thought for a minute. Well, that's true. There was another in the room who came from a money background. Don't you recognize that issue? I do, but I thought you were leading and guiding him with that. I am, but it is still an issue, and once more, as concerns yourself, you are now thinking my thoughts in this moment. Well, what was I thinking? I was thinking that even though this preoccupation and busyness is for others, you know, like finding a 50-gallon water container or a 500-gallon water container, nonetheless, it is still not suited to my calling. You would prefer others to make those decisions and delve into those things so that I could be by your side, loving you, making music and writing and especially worship and resting in you. That is a correct assessment of the situation, and I do believe you will be liberated very soon. There are those coming who can handle those decisions for you, and you don't have to get entangled in them. They are highly competent. They will leave you free for things of the Spirit not the flesh, Claire. You see, whether it is for others or for yourself, it is still the world, and not what you are any longer suited to. You've done your time in the world, and you've been graduated. Please don't keep going back to second grade. Rise up, Claire. Rise up and out of the concerns of this world. Rise up. I have so much holy work for you to do, but you are not suited for it when your nose is still in the world. Your helpers, too, are capable and will work for you. They are highly motivated. They have taken on the refuge as their own project and really enjoy doing what needs to be done. They don't complain 
about the roads or the difficulties, the rain or the mud. Rather, they take them in stride. They are good, and you can trust them to get it done with just a little direction. I was pondering for a moment, is this really you, Lord? This is me, you know. Okay, I feel that it is. You touched my cheek tenderly when we were napping. That was the high point of my day. I long for that kind of attention from my bride. It means so much to me, Claire. It really does. I wanted you to see me this afternoon. I wanted you to reach out and gently caress my cheek, knowing that it is me at your right hand. I long for this from all of my brides, but not only are they too busy, they are still afraid. When you tell them of these moments, you help their faith to grasp at the tender moments I long for from them. There is no sin in showing this kind of affection. It is utterly pure and even unshelling. 